We have some pathetic news coming out of Germany today. The Intercept reports here. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said on Tuesday that her government, while being fully committed to the principle of free speech, is considering a request from Turkey to file criminal charges against the host of a late-night television show. His alleged crime? Joking about the Turkish President Erdogan. Here we go again. So Erdogan, they continue here, Erdogan's inability to take a joke was in the news last month because his government had reacted to an earlier satirical sketch about him on German television, a spoof music video about his crackdown on free speech at home. <laughs> so ironic, he's so stupid. By demanding that the authorities in Berlin have it removed from the internet. Oh my god, that's like, uh, we need to come up with a new word. That's so fucking ironic. We need to come up with a new word because ironic isn't strong enough a word. They do a satirical sketch about how he cracks down too much on free speech, and what does he do? He sends his ambassador to be like, we, uh, we're gonna need Germany to pull this off the internet. <laughs> You're proving the point of the satire video, how fucking stupid are you? He's so stupid! He's the densest human being on planet Earth. Guys, like, we've covered the stories before. When people bring up the concept of free speech, he doesn't get it. Like, he's too stupid to get it through his thick, fucking dense head. Where they're like, no, 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 okay, so you don't understand. The way it works is, w when we have free speech, the way it works is somebody can say something, and even even if they're insulting you, even if they're making fun of you, like, of course, even though you're a leader, it doesn't matter. They're allowed to do that. That's the way freedom works. He's like, well, no, we believe in free speech, but that cannot uh, include uh, insults. Yeah, it can in fact, that's the whole fucking point of it. Nobody needs free speech for lovely phrases like, Hey, rainbows are pretty. Aren't puppies cute? Nobody's trying to fucking sue somebody or take away their rights over such banal, obviously true statements. People need protection for when they say stuff like, This guy's a fucking prick who wants to take away all your rights, and I dislike him, and I don't think he should be in power. But in Erdogan's mind, he's like, <gasps> You besmirched me, the great leader. I must lock you up now. And then again, when you bring it up to him, he's like, I don't understand why you would disagree with me. He insulted me. Of course I'm gonna lock him up. What do you mean? I he's one of the leaders uh, uh, in the world I despise the most. It's everything about him. I mean, this fucking guy praised Hitler recently. He praised Nazi Germany. He was like, uh, yeah, you know, when he was asked a question about, uh, hey man, aren't you kind of like skirting democracy a little bit here and getting a little too authoritarian? He's like, no, 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 but it's cool. That's a good thing. I mean, we're looking at, you know, models in history that have worked and we're trying to copy those systems. Like Nazi Germany. That was your example of something working? That was your example of something good? And he's one of the top allies of the U.S. and the West. Oh my God, how sad is this? It's so sad. And here we have... Oh, the German Chancellor. While we believe in the fully, we're fully committed to free speech, but, but, there's, if there's a but, no you're not. No you're not. But we may have to lock this person up for making fun of uh, the Turkish president. Okay, I know uh, people, some people get mad at me because they say, oh, I'm too American on the issue of free speech. No, there's no such thing as too American on the issue of free speech. America has it right on free speech. You should be able to say whatever the fuck you want to say, as long as it's not uh, libel, slander, or direct threats of violence. You should be allowed to say whatever the fuck you want to say. And by the way, historically in the U.S., libel and slander is super hard to prove, as it should be, because you give the benefit of the doubt to freedom, or various interpretations of what people are and what people say and, uh, you know, what your take on it is. So, yeah, open up free speech laws across the West, and if you bend to them, you just simply don't believe in it. Okay, if you don't believe in free speech, for those who you disagree with the most, you don't believe in it at all. So by all means, you know, you want to fucking make fun of any world leader, you want to make shit up, you want to, you know, um, uh, do satire of them and poke at their soft spots. Go for it! Go for it! That's the whole idea, that's the whole point of being free! Erdogan is a leader who has locked up kids for tearing down posters of him. This is a deeply authoritarian guy we're talking about here. He locked up somebody uh, for comparing him to the Lord of the Rings character uh, Gollum, or Gollum, however you pronounce it, uh, on Facebook. Somebody uh, was, they're considering char bringing charges against a, a woman who 
Anytime Erdogan would come on TV, she would change the channel, and the husband is an Erdogan loyalist, didn't like that. He spoke to the authorities. They're considering arresting her because she doesn't keep the TV channel on whenever Erdogan's on, and she had said some negative words about him. You can't even be against him in your home. They're considering charges against her. <sighs> Democracy and freedom in Turkey is so gone, it is ridiculous. Erdogan is the problem. He's an authoritarian cultist at his core.